How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Dead Space. Here we are in lovely part eight. Yes, part eight of Dead Space. Get a move on! And already, Jesus! Come on, come on, come on. There is no end to the bullshit! In the last part, I had to fight, like, the entire fucking swarm of Necromorphs in a five-minute period. So I can kill 12 in this room, and then you go in this room, and then you come back out, and there's more! And then you do this, you do that, and then there's more! Never-ending stream of Necromorphs! Face violation to the max! Uh, but yeah, we are currently... Toxics detected in atmosphere processing. A repair technician has been notified. Before I was rudely interrupted. But yeah, right now we are in hydroponics. And we are currently trying to cleanse the air of the necromorph poison. I think uh, in the last part we got two. So... We already put... Uh, Nicole, your timing is horrible. Alright, there's three. That's the third one. Really? Really? Go down. Come on. Yeah, so far. Hydroponics has been like the most unrelenting part in the game. It's like they are throwing everything possible at you all in one go. And pulse rounds, pulse rounds. What am I gonna do with pulse rounds? Now that I'm talking shit about you know the the fucking the the pulse rifle, because the pulse rifle is actually a pretty it's a pretty solid weapon. It just doesn't you know twiddle my fancy. I'm more of a plasma cutter force gun kind of guy. I mean, I could even do without the force gun. Because the secondary fire with the force gun in Dead Space 1, the mine launcher, I mean, it's good. However, it's just. I don't know. I definitely prefer the. Oh, shit. Two. Yeah, I prefer the force gun from Dead Space 2 and Dead Space 3. Because it's secondary fire. Is so much better. All right, are we good now? Are we good now? I think we're good. But yeah, in uh, in Dead Space One, the secondary fire is that uh, the the mine, you know, the launcher thing. It's not necessarily a mine. It is a stick, but it's just the rolling bomb. I guess you could call it whatever. But Dead Space 2 and 3, the, the secondary fire is like that charged force shot. That thing is fucking amazing. Like, that will destroy everything. And it's one of my favorite weapons ever. Entering zero gravity. But yeah, the, the, the plasma cutter, that's a must have. The plasma cutter is probably like... Really? with the lurkers and the shrieking and going down. And there's another one. Babies in space. Come on. Do your thing. Come on. I'm right here. There you go. But yeah, the, the plasma cutter by far is one of my favorite weapons solely because this thing does damage, especially when you start getting it upgraded. The, I mean, there, there's not really a gun out there that compares to the plasma cutter, just as like a standard weapon. When it comes to secondary weaponry, you know, I, I could change it out. You know, the, the force gun is really awesome. You know, minus the secondary attack, I prefer that space to increase. But uh, one thing I will say, though, is that uh, in Dead Space 3, the entire game, like, I've, I've beat Dead Space 3, like, three or four times, and the entire game, you know, I went through with, like, the standard combination, you know, the, um, the plasma cutter, and, you know, random-ass secondary weapons, 
But then, I found this weapon. It's like a machine gun, but then its secondary fire is a fucking rocket launcher. That gun, you craft that thing. You craft that thing, and you upgrade the shit out of it. That thing is amazing. It's like gun Hello? of the gods. Hello, security? Thank God. This is Dr. Cross in hydroponics. I'm trying to locate second engineer Jacob Temple. I can't get through to engineering. Of course I know there's a shipwide medical alert. That's why I'm trying to locate him. No, we're safe for now, but the tram is down and we can't reach the escape pod. Hello? Hello? Oh, lovely. The part where we have to go through all the fire. That's just great. Okay, okay, go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Okay, that was way too close. I wasted too much time because, like a dumbass, I have to always check the opposite way of where I'm supposed to go for the goodies. And that was a bad idea in this part. Okay, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Go, 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 go. I don't like this. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, tension, 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 tension. No, 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 no. Damn. All right, there's the fourth one. Hey, you gotta go through all that fire. Then you get in this room, and then boom! Fucking super-powered necromorph. Necromorph 2.0. Dying in wait. Not digging it. Not digging it at all. What about you? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? If anyone knows the reference, ten points to you. However, there is one person who's going to watch this. I think. I hope. Maybe. Who will know what that reference is? Oh uh, yeah! Shout out to Jim. <laughs> my friends who started convincing me to do this thing and it took him like six months to a year to convince me to do no let's play thing yeah can you dig it I can dig it is it oh my guys twinkle twinkle little star Perfect way to just creep me the fuck out. And I like how they extend this elevator ride just to accommodate the, the bone chilling song of Twinkle Twinkle Warning. Little Star. 10 kiloton mass detected in food storage. Huh? 10 kiloton mass? So it's like fucking. I'm not very good at conversion. I'm not even gonna try to. I, I was just trying to like. Uh, oh god, no! No, 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 no! Leave me alone. Yeah, I, I just tried doing the conversion in my head, and no, I'm not even gonna try to do that. Math is not my uh, math is not my forte. Energy. Usefulness! Just look at, like, uh, I know it's like the garden for in space, you know, like, they have their own garden for their food storage and everything, you know, like, oh, we gotta feed all these people on the ship. Pumpkins. Are pumpkins really a good choice to, like, supply an entire ship of people with a food? With a food? With food! It's like, you know, pumpkin's kind of like a specialty item. That's very, very interesting. But yeah, pumpkin's kind of like a specialty item. It's like, really, are, are they just gonna like supply every family with pumpkin pie bi weekly? Like, what else can you do with pumpkin? I mean, I see other vegetables, you know, like tomatoes. Tomatoes are useful. Those come in handy for all kinds of things, like BLTs. Oh my god. Bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwiches. Oh. 
Continuing on here. What the fuck? Hello? Anybody? I see nothing. Okay, continuing on. Uh, yeah, we got four of the little poison guys. I have no. Wait. Is my memory. I, I, I don't know. I, I think my memory really is that bad. Because did we get them all? Like, we're backtracking this way. We're backtracking this way, so I'm thinking that we're done. Because I remember the person popped up on the thing and was like, 10 kiloton mass detected in food storage. Yeah, okay, we're, we're, we're back here, so we're all done with the, the poison shit. Got the schematics out of my inventory. Yay! Extra slots. Uh, Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, I'll get rid of that. I usually don't like having more than oh, one stasis pack in my inventory at a time because it's. Yeah, stasis is kind of like an important thing, but like it's not like I'm playing on some insane difficulty and kind of the, the stasis things are kind of like an emergency what if scenario type deal. Text lock! Ah! Quiet. And then knock him over the door. No. <gasps> Note room. Come on, there you go. Thank you. They didn't want to like accept the note. It's like nope, 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 nope. Three force energies, large health kit. What do I got in here? Hello? 2200 credits? Alright. I guess it's alright. It's okay, I guess, for a node room. Some, some ammo, health kit. $2,200. I just spent one node and I got four left! Yes. Uh. What in the hell is that? I notice a lot of other things, like when I'm playing with headphones, like, you know, when I'm playing for, you know, just playing for me, you know, I'm usually just listening through my TV, and when you use headphones, you pick up a lot of stuff you don't hear when you're just listening to your TV, you know, like, as I'm going through this now, for, you know, doing this, it's like, see, people keep talking in the background. It's quite unnerving. Ah, all right, done with the bench. All right, good to go. We got all of those rooms. Got that three thousand dollars. Yes. I like money. I like you. You help me get things that I need. Oh yeah, look at that Isaac. Oh yeah. Vegetative anomalies detected in the East Grove Chamber. Vegetative anomaly. Alright, so there's something really big and really alive. Awesome. Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Ah! Oh, shit! No, no, no. How much can you take? Come on, come out of your shell. There you go. 
no, no, no! See, that's when stasis comes in handy. Oh, yeah! And what I got? Oh, it's a power node! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! I like when the game gives me nodes. Oh, and there's so much stuff in here! Oh, ammo and ammo and health. Really? Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. That is annoying as shit when there's a box there and you stomp on a box. And what comes out? Swarmers! Can I get you? Okay. Fucking things is like, nope. All right, come on. Open. Did I get him? I think I got him. Yeah, I got him. Okay. Yep, I got him. All right. One thousand. I got him. Maybe I'm hearing another one. Okay. I'm confusing myself. Oh, there's one in here. Okay. I'm not so smart. Ah, stasis recharge. Oh, more goodies. Oh, what's in the box? Uh, thousand dollars for force energy. Yay! I'm actually happy that they're giving me stuff that I can use. You know, it's kind of a no what the hell was that? Did the wall just throw up? It really looked like it. I gotta go up higher, but okay, so if I gotta go up higher, then I'm gonna check this level because I don't even know if I'm gonna come back down here and yeah. Force energy, uh, force energy. Oh, it looks like a health kit. Yes. Hydroponics log, Dr. Cross reporting. Something huge just slammed into the hole near food storage. It wasn't a rogue asteroid. I know what that sounds like, but it was big and heavy. I'll report again when I know more. Alright. So, something big and heavy crashed into the ship. If it crashed into the ship, that means it was in space. So there's just like a giant necromorph floating in space that crashed into the ship. Oh my god! No, 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 no. Don't like this. No, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's blocking the shot! No! Oh my god! See, I should have known. Everything was all nice and pretty, and then I walked down this hallway, and boom! There's shit everywhere! I should have known something bad. This is Temple, acting chief engineer. I came down here to find Dr. Elizabeth Cross, but she's not here. In fact, I can't find anyone. Just more of this organic shit everywhere. I'm going to check the mining deck. It's about the only place I haven't looked yet. Okay, I, uh, yeah, I have no idea what happens going that way, but I stopped on this level because I was supposed to go up, but then I came this way, you know, just because you always go the opposite way. However, I think I'm supposed to go that way because we got all the sub-objectives. I have no idea what I'm doing. I, I I think I screwed myself deviating from the uh deviating from the path. I have no idea, but I'm just gonna roll with it, I guess. Why not? Hey, that's all good. Yeah. You know what? I actually sense that I'm probably gonna go all the way to where I'm supposed to go, and then I'm probably gonna have to backtrack all the way back there. So my backtrack became a backtrack. No fucking way. That means there's a thing up here. No fucking way! So, ah! Uh, yep. Yeah. Kill this thing. 
Yep, now my objective is going to tell me to go just where I was, so this actually should have been the place I went, and then went there, but instead I went there and then came all the way back here. Level 2, where it's going to take me? Right the fuck that way. Alright. So that wasn't such a bright move. And I like how they put a save point right before the giant tentacle arm that's going to violate your face. Something I'd like to, you know, say again. The importance of saving. Things can go wrong. Things can happen. And then you're screwed. Entering zero it's like one of my previous videos, you know. The importance of saving. Like that. Like that. Yeah, yeah. See? See? They did it again. They did it again. A couple chapters later. They put a save point, And then you make a run. You, you know, you go into the hallway. And boom. Shit happens. It's like, oh, now I see why I put that. Now I see why they put that save point there. They put it there for a reason. What the hell? No. Ah, uh, no. Stasis. Energy! I'm gonna go that way. That way. This part is really, really annoying to me. Just because it's just constantly jumping from this one to that one to that one, now this one, now that one again! It's just, it's, it's a pain. It's really annoying. Now we got these things! Come on, come on! There's a switch in atmosphere control to restart the oxygen recycling. Once the air's clean, you can get into heat storage. That's a dozen meetings, of course. The crew all began having mass hallucinations. And... Well, I just saw my brother. On a security monitor. And that's just not possible. Everybody's going crazy on the USG Ishimura. Even Kendra! I think the only one who's kind of sane is, you know, Hammond, but, you know, Kendra's like, Oh, we can't trust Hammond. Hammond's hiding something. Oh, shit, shit, shit. You know. Even though she just admitted, you know, I'm hallucinating, blah, blah, blah. You know, Hammond did that too. He's like, I don't know, I think I'm seeing things, but like, he just said, Alright, come on. Oh, okay, I can turn off. There we go. God, this is loud as hell. But yeah, Kendra's like, Kendra flat out was like, you know, I saw my brother, oh my god. And then, you know, Hammond's just like, I think I'm seeing things. Exiting zero so it's gravity. like, on the crazy meter, Kendra's like, oh! And Hammond's just kind of like, oh. And yes, at that time, representing the, the crazy meter. Oh, 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 you know. I don't know how else to explain it other than that. So I'm rolling with it! Alright. So th this is yet another backtrack. I backtracked to backtrack. To backtrack to what I already backtracked. So this is the fourth time I went down this hall. I'm so genius! Alright, let's see here. Back down here. Pretty sure, yeah, right now we're going back to the main room to use the chemical compound and do all that stuff and... Yahoo! No! 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 Ah! 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 Okay, that was not good. I open the door and it's just like party time! No! Oh, 
no party time. That is not how it works. Alright, here we go, backtracking again. Blah, 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 blah. Going back to the big old room. And then we can use the stuff on the thing, and then that will open the other thing. Isaac, where are you? Help me. Nicole! Nicole! Flushing all air vents. Restoring nitrogen and oxygen levels. Food storage lockdown lifted. Alright, now we get into food storage. Woohoo! Good things, good things. Making progress. I think I'm going to cut this part right here. So, thanks for watching part 8, and until next time in part 9.